everyone welcome back to another roblox studio video today i have a huge announcement to make recently i discovered a video that was uploaded well as of today like about i don't know like maybe 12 days ago or something like that maybe a little more maybe about two weeks ago in this video that i saw is literally three minutes long and what you're seeing right now is legit. This three minute video can easily make you create a traffic light. Look at this. The main reason why I'm doing this is because recently, at least for me, the 22 Pilots traffic light plugin has stopped working. And it's, it's, it's five years old and it, and it doesn't look like that'll get an update anytime soon. As long as 22 Pilots is working on his maps, the plugins won't get fixed. So for the time being, we, we gotta come up with something important. So before I officially upload my ultimate guide to the Beautiful Roads plugin, I wanna show off this video because there's a really good chance that I'll be able to use this traffic light in the video, just as a reference point. This entire traffic light is literally 16 lines of script. And I'm gonna go over that with you right now. It's really simple and it's really scary to think that only 16 lines of code can literally make this. Like, it's not it's not much nothing much right now. It's nothing much right now. But look at it. It literally works. Now the timing is according to the video, which the video I will have linked down below and the creator of this video has 100% credit on this. Don't give me any credit for this. The, the guy who ever made the video in the link down below in the description made this. 100% credit goes to him. Don't give me credit. Give credit to him. Please. I beg of you to give credit to him. This is literally going to make, this, this is the game changer, because it's only 16 lines of code. I'm going to show you that right now. It's like the weirdest things ever. So, before you get started, obviously you need to create an open space. It doesn't matter if it's the regular base plate or a, a pre-created world or whatever. It can literally be wherever you want this to be. But I recommend just doing just a simple base plate design or something, or just a grass field, you know? Just so that in case of traumatic happens, you can just delete the world and just start it all over, you know. But things are things are gonna get good. So first of all, you are just gonna want to start with something just very simple. Um, I I just need to make a regular part. So here's what I'm gonna do. So normally, what what you would do is that first of all, you would just create just a regular piece, just like this, okay? And then you just have to scale it to size. Um, now the scaling aspect, I don't have down to the bone at the moment, but this is just me. So this is just a, a rough sketch right now. Uh, this is gonna be black. Um, so you have your piece, right? And then what you want to do is gonna add th uh, a cylinder. Okay, add a cylinder. You're gonna want to rotate it about 90 degrees, obviously. And then you're just going to drag it over to somewhere on the line. It doesn't have to be spot on in the center, but just move it somewhere, put it down to where you want to go, and then just scale it down. Or scale it down and then move it to wherever. I prefer to do what I just did because it's easier to see the part, you know. So then that's the first light, pretty much. Yeah, so that's the first light. And then you want to duplicate it by doing just a simple Control D movement. And all you have to do is just move it to wherever you want to go and wherever you best see fit. And then just continue scaling and just continue taking it down to like where you think it would best be at. So now you pretty much have your light. Now what now what the video does is that you just like whatever he does is that he just basically centers it all up. Pretty much. He just centers it all up and that I, I think that's looking pretty good. Don't you think? Okay, now this light's not even in the center. There we go. That a little bit better? Nah, I'll bring this light down just a little bit. Hmm, that one's a little spaced out too much. There we go, that's looking a lot better. Let 
me just scrunch that down just a little bit. There we go. Now what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to set all of these to metal, right? And then change change the colors obviously to whatever you want. Let's see, it needs to be yellow, and then this needs to be green, just like that. Now I know this is a little bit different than what th this is here, but it's the same concept. It's the exact same concept. This is a little bit wonky than this one. Like literally, this this is what, this was my first light, and it, it just looks glorious. And then we got this one that 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 literally looks like um, someone a lot younger than me made. So I'm gonna scrunch down just a little bit more and make it a little more realistic, I guess. Oh, that actually does look a lot better. Let me just squeeze that down just a little bit. That looks a whole lot better. That looks a whole lot better. So then, um, what he did, oh, wait, wait, wait. So this needs to be neon. This has to be neon. There we go. So yeah, so that can work. Um, and I'm just checking, make sure what the, what the material is for this one. Uh, it's under properties. Uh, material metal. All right, perfect. Yep, just want to make sure that I was doing it right. I'm doing this straight off of memory. I'm doing. I'm doing this straight. I'm doing this straight off of memory. If, if I get it, if I get this off of memory, then then we're solid. <laughs> but the scripting, I don't have down in memory yet. So so then what he did is that he just got it all together and, and he just grouped it all together to make this one massive piece, right? And then and then what he did is that obviously like rename your part. So I'm gonna name this to well other than traffic light like what he did. I'm gonna call this traffic light um, standard because this is a standard traffic light, you know. And you just take it all down, and then you just rename the parts as is. So I'm gonna rename this yellow. Let's see this. So this one is body, and then this one is red, and then this one is green. There we go. So now you have your part. It's all nice and pretty, or pretty-ish, I should say, since this will probably be your first or second attempt doing this. And then what you want to do is that you want to create a new script, as it is right here. So, so now what you're going to do is that you're just going to just create the script as is. So, as I said, I already have the script right here, as just as a reference point. So first of all, you're, you're, you're going to want to get your three locals down. So first of all, you're going to have a local. R and then script dot parent dot red as is. Oh, I forgot the equals. I am not that good at scripting. I'm, I'm going to get there one day. And then you do the same thing for the yellow and greens. Or, or in case if you're curious, the yellow can be like an amber color and an orange color. It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter what what you do with this as long as you have the the basic uh, three lights. Or not lies, but the colors. Parent dot yellow, then local G for green. Script dot parent dot green. There we go. And then I did this just a little note for me. Um, light change. Is that right? Light change script. Yeah. So he has down his live change script, which this is this is a, like a good section to indicate that um, that it's just you know there. So now, so now this part is like the literally the entire looping process. So as soon as the game starts, it's gonna do with uh, with like the green first, then it's gonna wait 10 seconds, then change the yellow for four seconds, then change back to red for the 10 second phase. So so this is very simple. While true do, and, and then and then these entire lines of codes is the light changing sequence. So first of all, we're gonna have this. So the red material is gonna be metal, and the green or the green material is gonna be neon. So we'll do that. So our material is enum. Wait, what was it? Enum dot material dot metal and then G material equals enum dot material dot neon and then you do the wait command and the video says five seconds 
which which is honestly a good phrase because he does it like a five, two, then a five. I sort of do like a ten, a four, and a ten because that's a little bit more realistic, you know. So I'm gonna do ten seconds, okay? And then for the yellow and the red changing faces, the exact same thing. You just have to start with the previous material, such as the last one was G material, so we're gonna start with G material. Is enum dot material dot metal, and then Y material equals enum dot material dot neon. Straightforward, right? And then you do it again. Wait. Um, do four seconds because that's perfectly fine. And then same thing again. Almost did Y yellow <laughs> uh, material equals or is enum emun num dot material dot metal and then r material equals let me see we need enum dot material dot neon there we go and then there's a 16 lines of script well let me let me change that real quick. Let me change that real quick. So, you gotta add one more. The, the, in this last way, it's very important. Um, the video didn't specifically say what it was, but I assume it's just that the, the coding doesn't get messed up. And here is your 16 lines of code to make this run. Now, if I did it correctly, which I'm very hoping that I did, um, then it should work. And also, you have to anchor it just so that the pieces just don't fall off, you know? So make sure make sure you anchor everything, and with some luck, this is getting very 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 interesting. I just that looks like we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, that see, look at that. Uh oh, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Nope, first take of the video, that's perfectly okay. Hmm. I feel like, okay, so I think I think I need to rename the script. If if I literally just have to rename it. I'll, I'll do standard. Be because it's just it's just it's just three. So I'll make sure that I did everything correctly. It's Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, there it is, oh, there it is, I messed it up, okay, so, yeah, you have to make sure that everything is spelled correctly, and after four seconds, boom, we got a red, we got a red, <laughs> But yeah, it's literally that simple. Yes, look, I messed up, and that's okay. This is literally a first take. This is literally a first take video, and it shows that I'm not perfect. This 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 is a great example of me doing something that I'm trying for the first, like literally for this. This is the second try I did this, and it works. You have video proof of me doing it of someone that did that literally just released a video that has less than 100 views. So get this man some views. Get this man some views. Anyways, just look at this. Just look at the sequence. Honestly, this one looks a little bit better than this one. <laughs> but as time goes on, I will continue doing this. I will add, let's see. So with this, this gives me more opportunities to do more traffic light tutorials with, with this script alone because you have the opportunity to do amazing things with just the scripting alone. Which is really cool. Which is really, really cool. Which is really cool. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you all did enjoy it, then please leave a like and subscribe down below. It's always free. You can always change your mind. You're not obligated to, but you're more than welcome to. And other than that, I'm signing out, and I'll see you all in my next video. See ya!